Furry fandom. Now most people think furries are just animals like cats and dogs. <clears throat> There's much more to the furry fandom than that. I'm here to find out what it's all about to be in the furry fandom. I'm not going to lie, I am very tired, very tired indeed. This is where it'd be for beards, so if you do not like that little stubble, uh, be, be aware that there, there, is, there is a bit of a beard here. It's a, it's a, it's a, a PB, uh, parental beards, it's, that's what I'm rating it as. It's mainly not be as thick as as scary as as bit of a beard, but it's getting there. But enough about the, that. Uh, ju judging by what you've uh, clicked on, uh, you uh, probably want to watch uh, a f furry documentary. So. So, what is a furry? Well, I'm not going to uh, bore you too much about it because I want other people because we because I want to find that out with other people. But I've said in the previous video before, it's uh, people who uh, like uh, uh, cartoon animals. If you if you are already part of the furry fandom, it's furry characters, and if you really want to go into depth, it's and people who like anthropomorphic animals. So that's the main gist of it, and we are going to, uh, and hopefully we're going to explore this, <laughs> and we. <laughs> 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 So, yes, hopefully we are going to explore some parts of the furry, so hopefully we're going to explore it and interview some people. Oh, you can tell this isn't scripted, but uh, here we go. The say say this uh, this line here is uh, furries so i just but this 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 line goes into something else so there we go so this so in the middle this is furries this line could be and we have another line branching up so this line could be uh, you like you, you, so this line could be you like uh, four-legged furries. This line could represent you like two-legged furries, and then there's uh, another line that branches out, and that could be uh, you like you like four-legged furries. Is. And basically, they just branch out. So that, so it could be like that, like in the middle still represents fairies. So just let me just. Oh, all this oh, stuff. Oh, 
It's funny because it's true! So, uh, I'm about to interview Lacey. Hello, Lacey. Hello. So, how did you, uh, how did you uh, end up joining the furry fandom? Anthropon like? Uh, Anthropon was amazing. Very big, you saw a lot of popular first suits, lots of great events. You just go off and make friends with everybody you see there and hug everyone. It was just super fun. Half the city of Pittsburgh was just full of first suits. It was great. But, sorry if I'm getting a bit close. I'm, uh, it's hard to hear. Okay, yeah. So sorry if the camera's it's a little to bit like that. These. So, uh, come up with the uh, persona where uh, Lacey? Well, Lacey's not my persona. She's just a fursuit character. I bought this suit off somebody else and I designed the character around the suit. Yeah, so she's like a side character I have. So I'm like, I already have the head, horse, and tail, so I just put some line art on the dash and colour it in. And she will be full suit by next year. Okay, thank you very much. Nice meeting you. Uh, hello, so this is uh, Angelo the Box, right? Yes. Um, and how long have you been in the furry fandom? Well, I would say I've been in the furry fandom for, uh, for I think, 12 months now. Mm -hmm. Uh, what got you into it? Uh, I, uh, what got me into it? I just saw like these videos of all the families, you know, going around in the pond. And I thought that was uh, quite fun. I actually first got into it with the uh, Deviant Art. Um, how many personas do you have? I, uh, I'm a character, I just have two. Okay. Angelo, which I am now, and uh, Crystal Fire, which I have a little fursuit. Okay. Do you have any particular favourite fursuiters in the fandom that made you want the fursuit? Uh, sorry, what was that? Do you have any particular favourite fursuiters? There's uh, Ad Adam, Adam at Stansters, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's Drake. There's a 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 Okay, so you had it about a year. You had it about a year. Is it a, is it a homemade one? Yeah, I think I had it about a year. <laughs> is, is it a homemade suit? Uh, yes, my grandma made it for me. Oh, that's nice. I was very, very fanful. I was over the moon. Originally, I wanted to do it myself, but I think Grandma kind of took out of my book. I'm, I'm okay with it. She let me unpick it. I think the ones is to use as a template. Oh, nice. Um, so, how many meets do you regularly go to? How many months? How many meets? How many weeks? Uh, every third Saturday I go. Every month. 
Okay, so do you just go to Leeds Beach? Yeah, I just, sorry, I just, I just go to Leeds Beach for now. Okay. Hopefully I want to learn how to, I want to get learning how to drive so I can uh, go a bit more abroad to work. Uh, Are there any other beats or conventions that you want to go to? I would love, I would love to go to Anthemcon. I, uh, like, I would like to, I would love to go to Anthemcon. I would like to go to some convention, conventions if they're, in their conventions if they're out in Leeds. Yeah. And also a bit, maybe further up north, not too much up north. And okay. maybe comfort all. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. What do you like about the furry fandom? You like the hugging, don't you? <laughs> would you would you say the art is good in the furry fandom? Would you say the art is good in the furry fandom? Okay. Do you do you feel like you get a bad reputation from the media? Okay. Thanks for thanks for it. So what is it like be, what is it like being in the furry fandom? In the furry fandom is great. I have made so many friends. And it's a lot of fun. If you like fun, you should be a furry too. Yeah. Do you think do you think you get a lot of bad reputation from the media? Um, I think all media reputation is bad. That's what they're paid to do. They take something and make it look as bad as possible for entertainment. Less media the better. like about the furry fandom? What do I like about the furry fandom? Uh, it's a means of expressing myself. I like expressing myself. There's art, there's music, there's fursuit, there's something for everyone. Hello. Hello. What's your name? I'm Silver Gunner. Silver Gunner. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How did you get into the furry fandom? I've been in the fandom for about well over 10 years. <clears throat> what happened was that um, I've only been coming to meet for the last two two years or so. Three years ago I joined the Brom community and since then, uh, since then I have friends who also went to furry. So I followed them on and that's how I've been coming to meet ever since. Like I say I've been in the fandom for 10 years. Three years so I know everything about furries and everything, so yeah. Okay. i I was actually part I'm I was actually part in fact I'm still part of the uh, the Abroni community. I just uh, I uh, although I've uh, come to discover that uh, you get more meats in the fur meats than fur, furries with, with rather than the bronies. Part of the reason for that is that the um, there's few, there's few brony brony communities around nowadays. Oh. Been changing the fandom since it started. Right. I actually run the uh, meets in the Humberside area, so so we keep going every every fourth Saturday. So. <laughs> Do you feel like you get a bad reputation from the media? Yeah. Probably, it, probably yes. It depends on uh, which media outlet interviews you. If it's um, usually, usually it's pretty bad, especially if it's um, especially if they're very a very conservative media outlet like BBC or uh, Sky or Fox. <laughs> true, true. Or the guys who made that CSI episode. Don't forget that. Oh yes. <laughs> right. Yeah, anyway, do, you, does, do you find the furry art expensive? The furry art expensive? 
I think it's about art-wise. I think it's about the same as um, the same as any other art you commission. It all depends on who you go to for it. Some artists are charged, some artists are cheap, mm -hmm. some artists are expensive. It's all a question of how popular the artist is. I know one artist I, I asked to quote for, I asked 50 quid for a commission, while another one offered me 8 quid. That, um, yeah. It's nice talking to you. Indeed. Nice, okay. nice talking to you too. Thank, thank you. Yeah. How did you uh, discover the furry fandom? So she, she so uh, you discovered the furry fandom from her. Okay. Do you think the art is expensive in the furry fandom? No, you don't. Okay. Do let's see. Do you feel safe in the furry fandom? All right. It's nice to interview you. Thank you. Could you tell us a little bit about your persona? Um, well, he's, this is Cy. Um, he's a Cyclops cat from space. Um, <laughs> that's about it, really. Just an alien cat. <laughs> why, do, why do you fursuits? Um, just because I think it's really good fun. Um, I like making people smile. And just, it's just really good fun. <laughs> but, though, you like this next question. Do you feel do you feel that furries get a bad reputation from the media? Um, sometimes, but I think lately it's, it's kind of. Um, I kind of think lately it hasn't been as bad. Like I've seen quite a few articles that show them in like with quite a good reputation, and I think originally they did, but now it's not so bad anymore. I think. Right. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay. Thanks. Nice meeting you. So. Uh, what's your name? That's interesting. The um, what? Uh, why did you join the furry fandom? Oh, I can totally agree. Do you think you get a bad rep from the media? A little bit. Okay. So, what's your name? Uh, the little Nordy. Little Nordy. Fur no Fur Nordy. No one can pronounce that. Nobody. Little Fur Nordy. <laughs> little Fur Nordy. Nordy. <laughs> little like, Fur Nordy. Like naughty but with fur at the beginning. Fur Nordy. Right. Never mind. Anyway, yeah, go on. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, what is it? Uh, let's see. Do. Do you think you get a bad reputation from the media? Not really. To be honest, the most negative reaction I've had is from other furries. Ah, okay. The f furry fandom can be a little bit evil. Uh, it can be, evil. And I think I've heard one, one person, one person, uh, one, I think I've heard one person, you know, every furry's ganged up on him. I know he's out of the furry fandom. I'll tell you when I uh, switch this. Uh, Okay. Right, so, do you, do you consider yourself a furry? People, hello. At this point, yeah. It is raining, you are. <laughs> do you, do you think the harness is, uh, costs quite a bit of money? I don't know, I've not looked into it, to be honest. I mean, I know that certain harnesses do, but I make all my stuff. Like this, oh, I made it. This, oh. I made it. Okay. This, I made it. <laughs> These, I mean, it's nice. that's, a, that's what attracted me to furry fandom because you get to make heavy rain and stuff. It's heavy rain and rain. You know? oh, that's basically what we're trying to sort of avoid. Uh, okay, thanks. Oh, how, how long does it take it to make a fur suit? Friggin' ages. Yeah. Like seriously, ages. This is a partial, and this took me three months. Three months just to do pause, this, and the tail. Although the tail did have a prototype stage, and this had its like. But the head was really hard. This is the hardest part. Body suits are easy when you get to that point, but you have to get the head done first, and it has to be right. This is e this isn't even finished. This is a work in progress. Three months to get to work in progress stage. 
It's hard. I think that's three questions. Thank you. Thanks right. for your time. Outside, it's too Please tell me it's warm there. in there. <laughs> well, you didn't plan to. Careful when it's somebody. Oh, sure. And there's it could be a line just branching off there, and uh, there could be a line that branches off into a big purring black cat like that. I think that line's branched off too much. <laughs> right. I wonder where they're going. I don't know. I'll probably have to cut that bit out. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to find a lot of this bit out. Yeah, anyway, do, you, does, do you find the furry art expensive? People, hello. At this point, yeah. It is raining, you are eating. It's fine. If you want to go for a walk, you can go for a walk. It's a little drizzly, but we probably can do. It's a little drizzly. <laughs> I don't know what you got. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what's the next question? <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll keep an eye on the weather, and if it stops, then we'll go for a walk. There's no need to do that. I just don't want it to be. I don't want to get like 